this is Josiah Plays Pillar of Eternity. Pillars of Eternity. There's actually multiple pillars, it's not just one. Um, so, I have good news. I just did a cool thing. So I was watching Arvin Elleron's stream, and if you don't know who he is, you should definitely check out his stream, because he's an awesome streamer. He gets, uh, he does a lot of cool stuff on his stream, and he also gets some cool uh, interviews. He actually had Josh Sawyer, uh, who was one of the head guys of Obsidian that made this game. He actually had him on his stream interviewing him a little while ago, right before the game came out, so it's pretty neat. Anyway, Arvin Elleron, um, A-R-V-A-N-E-L-E-R-O-N. He's a great streamer. So I was watching his stream of this game, and he revealed to me that there is a way to fix that bug with the stats that uh, was on Twitter that was posted using Cheat Engine and so forth. So I looked it up. I did. I downloaded what I needed to download. I loaded my game. I used the thing, and guess what? I fixed my stats. So all of my characters now have the true and proper stats that they should have with no extra bonuses. So Adair, with his shield on, in Defender's Dance has a lowly deflection of 77, although that's with this shield and this weapon. I can actually switch him to this hatchet and launch if I need to, to get a little more. <clears throat> but those are his true and proper defenses. Uh, Kana had some extra intellect that's now gone. Um, he actually had an extra point of con that's now gone. A couple characters had a few extra points of random defenses that are now um, fixed. So, happy about that. Everybody's stats are now legitimate. So I don't have to try to use any weird tactics. Now, the bug could come back, apparently. Um, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. But I think as long as I try to avoid ever saving the game um, in the maps where you recruit a companion. So in other words, as long as I don't save on the exterior of Cadnua or... Uh, in Magrin's Fork, or in Wood End Plains, or the exterior of Gilded Vale, you know, I should be, or in, or in exterior of Deerford, I should be okay, or Stormwall God. So, as long as I don't save and load the game in like half the maps of the game, I should be fine. <laughs> but no, anyway. Um, hmm. Yeah, there we go. Looks like my stream is up and running. Good. So, everything's fixed for now. I'm happy about it. Adair's not going to be as un unbelievably powerful, so basically just made the game a little harder for myself, but now I know everything will be legit. I'll keep an eye. Hopefully, um, these won't just randomly go up. Okay. Great, so let's look at what we're doing here. Nobody's gonna level up anytime soon. We've just recruited Grieving Mother and Heravius. We've talked to them. We've got, we've just paid out a lot of money for our people. Um, which looks like it's gonna happen, what, every five days, every four days? Because I figured this out, when it says 450, or when it says 50 and 10 per day, that means you're going to pay them in chunks of 50 every five days. You pay them for five days at a time. So that's why this costs 450. And that's why I just had to pay 650 just now, because I had to pay 450 for him plus 50 each for the other ones I have. Which means this guy is taking up as much pay as, you know, well, as. See, this doesn't seem to be right mathematically. Oh, well, I guess it is. Yeah, it's right. I'm just dumb at math, apparently. This is nine times that. And that's nine times. So he's taking up as much pay as nine other people. So that probably is not worth it. I think I should get rid of him. Because he's just... That's too much money to spend. So it was, it was foolish of me to hire him at this point. I mean, maybe later in the game, when I really need the extra bonuses and I have tons and tons of money, you know, it won't matter. But for now, I'm going to kick him. I want you to go, sir. And in his place, I can hire some other cheap guys, but let's see, who am I paying right now? It's going to cost me 50, 100, 150, 200. It's going to cost me 200 every, every few days. I can live with that. 
I can live with that. And those four should be good for now. Right? So, any events? No. Any actions? Okay, Catriel's still taking that guy. And what am I building? What am I building here? I am building an Artificer's Hall, which will be done in quite a while. So, next order of business, then, All is right, to then. leave and go to Andra's Gift to pick up our final, our eighth and final companion. Hey, there's Aloth. I saw him last time, that's right. Not a big surprise. So, I'm going to head out of here. I'm going to go to Andra's Gift, which is a part of Defiance Bay, and I'm going to pick up the final companion, talk to her, and then I'm going to have to decide who I want my actual core crew to be going forward. There'll be eight companions, not counting my rogue that I made myself. And eight companions, and I can only take five. I'm going to have to choose which five out of the eight that I actually want. Which I think will be kind of a tough choice, because... I mean, frankly, I want them all, of course, you know? For, for story reasons, I want them all. But I'm, I can't have them all. So these are the ones I'm taking for now. So to get to Andra's Gift, I think I'm going to have to go through Adelwyn Bridge and then through some maybe some other... I don't know how many zones of this city I have to go through to get there, but I clearly have to go to Adelwyn Bridge first, so let's go there. And this will be our first look at Defiance Bay. The great city of Defiance Bay. Which Norse used to be known as New Dunreed. Uh, and was oh hey now. Can't help can't help but take some free stuff. I mean Who's this guy? He's a commoner. You need an inn for the night. Goose and Fox has the softest beds in the best ale. What did he say before? He said such grim times. I'm glad that not everyone takes things so seriously. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean, buddy? You got jokes? Huh? You got jokes? We'll see who's laughing. I don't even know. Hmm, those are probably... I'm not gonna stop and... Oh. Catriel finishes cool. So that's done. Lord Brunnerger is, is gone now. And, um... Why has that got a little one there, like something's happening, but there's nothing happening? No. Sixteen hours left on my artificer's hall. My gold supplies are dwindling. Or I should say my copper supplies. So I'm not actually going to talk to anybody. Or like do anything. I'm just going to try to head straight for this companion, wherever she is. All I know is that she's in Ondra's gift. I don't know where she is there. Or if I need to do anything special to get her. All the others, except for Adair, were pretty easy. I just kind of walked up to them and they joined me. Adair, I had to walk up to him twice. <laughs> so, a quick save. We're gonna go... Welcome to Defiance Bay, but watch yourself in all city, understand? Um, sure. Kinda wish it wasn't nighttime. For my first look at the city, but <clears throat> so the bridge is not a gigantic zone, uh, so I can only go to Copper Lane. I cannot immediately go into any of the other zones. It takes 15 minutes. Nice. Pillars of Eternity is not responding. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Wait. Maybe it did. Defiance Bay. <gasps> the city at the heart of the Deerwoods Revolution now seems on the brink of another. Refugees line the streets, homeless and hungry. 
displaced by Whiteman's legacy, hoping for relief within the city walls and finding none. Dissidents congregate to protest and to heckle, calling for an end to animancy and the ouster of their duke. The city's militiamen cast fearful looks as they patrol the streets, their hands trembling at the hilts of their weapons. The capital of a country that had not long ago incinerated a god now appears to be a spark away from sharing the deity's fate. Wow. I think I've officially entered Act 2 of the game. And we have the cool little narration. Well, this makes it sound like stuff is not going well here in Defiance Bay. Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. If you know what movie I just quoted there. Okay. So, here we are entering the Copper Lane District. I throw a quick save out there. There's a cat. Maybe my cat can hang out with that cat and we can get up to some cat business. Hopefully, they won't cause any catastrophes. I want him to pass out and become catatonic. Okay. Those walls surround the whole city? Oh, yeah, Sagani's from like the, the islands where they're relatively primitive. I guess she's never seen a city with walls. These animancers have brought divine wrath upon us all. This guy's. And yet the Duke and his toadies in the Crucible Knights do nothing! Can we allow these atrocities to continue unchecked? Let's see what happens here. No! <laughs> He's the only one that yells now. Down with Animatsy! Wideman's legacy was one warning. Heritage Hill was another. We don't know what Heritage Hill is. Spread the word! Together we'll drive the blight of animancy from our city! Hmm. Okay. So the people are not thrilled about the- they're, they have a protest here. They're not thrilled about the current state of things. Here I am in Copper Lane. Ooh, look at this! This map automatically sort of reminds me of Athkatla from Baldur's Gate 2, doesn't it? Goose and Fox, Marketplace, Admeth's Den Expedition Hall. Pernice, per, Pernish's house, the world map, Lumdala's house, Scrivener's dormitory, the Hall of Revealed Mysteries. That sounds like a cool place. Look at this. This is like an arena or like a, like a theater. First fires, Brackenberry, catacombs, catacombs. Oh shit! And this is Bruce Fox. Okay. Well, there's a lot of cool places to go here, but I'm not going to go to those places yet. I just want to scroll over here and take a look at this. Yeah, it's like a theater. Neat. Okay. I think we want to go through Brackenberry and we should be able to get to Andres Gift from there, or should we just go through First Fires? Let's go through Brackenberry. It seems to be closer. Um, apparently we won't be going this way. Just the cars. They look like they're ready to dispense some justice. They got chain mail, they got torches. The goose and fox. And it looks like the there is a goose and a fox on the uh, on the sign there. I wonder if the city is like literally filled with more people during the daytime. It probably is. Psst! Over here, miss! Over here, miss! It's a little kid, isn't it? It is a little kid. Gordy. I'll talk to you later, Gordy. I got stuff to do first. Stuff to do. Those footsteps, though. Alright, let's go. Uh, Brackenberry. Twelve minutes. I think I can spare that. Here 
Here we are in Brackenberry. Thought I remember reading somewhere that Brackenberry was kind of the posh part of town where the rich people live, maybe? House Dominel. Oh, remember we read about them. They are no good. They're kind of like the shady, organized crime kind of family-ish. Raymont Manor, we've got the Charred Barrel. That must be their more upscale tavern here. First Fires. Sanitarium? Oh man. Nice. The Hadrit House. As we know, uh, Admeth Hadrit was like the first leader of this new nation. And Andra's Gift, which is where we're going. Oh, there's the Charred Barrel. We've got a statue here of... I don't know who that is. Possibly Admeth Herod. Jalistra, the Palzerker, Stobar, and Isabel are having a little chat there. I'm going to leave them alone for now. Hey now. Never too busy to stop and pick some free plants. I bet this, uh, I bet this area looks really cool in the daytime when you can see. I mean, it looks cool at night, too. You just can't see much very far. Uh, oh. This is a barrel with free free goods in it. Okay. I will take this egg. It's a common egg, as produced by a common hen. Excellent. There isn't so much as a spot on the or these oranges. So, okay, here we go. I've walked up. This is a cart. Obviously a merchant's cart. There's no merchant in attendance, and yet they left all of their produce just sitting out. I'm not going to take any of it, apparently, except for this one egg. I'm like, check that barrel. There's an egg in here, sir. Oh, yes, get it. Get that egg. You want any of this other stuff? Nope, just that egg. <laughs> Ooh, a fountain. Fountain with hooded figures carved into it. And? Is there a problem here? What? I see it. Let me, let me... I want to, I want to, okay, fine. Oh, there we go. The marble is cool and perfectly smooth. Droplets of crystal clear water bead the statues. That's cool. Sanitarium. Ooh, animancers. Really? They're up to no good. Too many variables. It's a wizard. Named Nedden. Another animator. Sanitarium. So it's 6 a.m., so is, does it look like it's getting lighter? It kind of is, huh? Like the sun's starting to come up? That's cool. Alright, now we'll go to Andra's Gift. There we go. 12 minutes. Now, Andra, as we know, is the god, or goddess, if you prefer. Of oceans, forgotten things, lost, relentlessness, and mourning. Said to have once fallen in love with the moon, and to have tried to draw it near, with catastrophic consequences. People bring tokens to her temples of things they wish to forget, and her clergy sees the tokens cast into the sea. So, pretty cool. That's also one of the primary... Heritage Hill claims another curious soul! He looks kind of cool. Who's this guy? We remind all visitors to Defiance Bay that the hill is sealed for the city's protection. And furthermore, that the trade of Ingwith and artifacts is strictly forbidden. He's the crier. Of course he is. We got a, kind of a cool little outfit, though. Let's see. Uh, it appears that this is a crate of goods that don't belong to anyone. Well. Looks like this oil may be of use. The grimy windows have been papered over from the inside. So this is the docks district and it looks pretty run down. There's the Salty Mast. That's a good name for a dockside tavern. 
Otto's house. Col Colfig's house. Abandoned house. I know ab another abandoned house. Way to Heritage Hill. The Valian Trading Company. Oh, that's cool. My character's Valian. Ram Shaco house and a lighthouse. So I don't know where the person is that I'm looking for, but I'll know her when I see her. We weren't even at the door when we heard the wailing. Turned and ran without looking back. <laughs> I heard about that. Did you tell Naya you quit? No. I don't know what that's all about, but I sure will know eventually. It's another statue of a person with a... I don't know if that's supposed to be a helmet that's upturned or some kind of bowl or... Obviously it has a sword there. There's a commoner. There's a sailor. He looks like he's had a, one, a few too many, maybe. Uh, oh, that guy's got a name. Hello there. Quarzimian. One day we will talk to you. This is not that day. Oh, thugs. Looks like some shit's about to go down over here. Should probably quick save. Just in case I get pulled into something. First of all, though, I believe I shall help myself to this rope and grappling hook. Since it doesn't seem to belong to anyone. And it looks like nothing's happening here until I talk to them, so that's good. With its crooked and missing shingles, this roof resembles a prize fighter's gap-toothed smile. That's some nice description there. Um, I couldn't get in. They said I wasn't refined or prestigious enough for their club. Elitist bastards. Hmm, couldn't get in to somebody's club. There's some refugees, or some sailors. There she is. That's what I'm looking for. That is who I am looking for. God's damn that son of a girl. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at her. She looks cool. She's Valian, like my character. Except she is obviously not human. She's some form of godlike. The angry woman clenches her jaw and stares out toward the harbor with glimmering golden eyes. Eventually sensing your presence, she turns her feathered head towards you. Hmm. Want to run a down on its luck, Valian Trading Company? If you have more than half a brain, you can really do something with it. She clenches her jaw and continues quietly. As long as you're willing to clean up a few bloodstains. Hmm. Enough silver and gold, you'd be surprised how well you can clean up about anything. True enough. Verzano's just lucky no one's trying to pay him in steel these days. She grits her teeth. Sooner or later, his luck will run out. Don't know who Verzano is. The woman looks back at the warehouse for a moment and grimaces. After a slight nod in your direction, she storms off. What? Attempt to recruit failed. She left. She just left. She just left. You can't just leave. I'm trying to recruit you, though. Okay, well. Maybe I need to go in there. Let's see. There's some folks with weird names. You know what that means. Some PD this turned into. So people are not getting paid. They're not happy about it. The ropes dangling from the crane sway in the ocean breeze. I can just I can hear the gulls. I can practically smell the fresh, salty air. Feel the sea breeze. Ah, yes. Being by the ocean is nice. I don't live by the ocean, so whenever I visit a place that's by the ocean, it's kind of a 
rare treat. Uh, so, what's in this barrel? You guys don't mind if I just... Oh, look, it's a torch. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Thanks, guys. Let's see what this Valiant Soldier has to say. Maybe he can give me some insight into what's going on here. Mr. Verzano gives the orders around here. Probably not the right voice for him, but... Mr. Verzano gives the orders around here. <laughs> wow. It's probably not either, but... As you approach her, the Valiant Soldier returns an affable smile. Well, that's nice. I like affability. This Valiant Soldier seems agile and well-trained. My job is just to guard the crates. I don't ask what's in them. Clear stars to you, sir. Clear stars, huh? That's a pretty cool little phrase. Sort of thing that uh, a nautical seafaring people might say. Clear stars, meaning let the sky be clear at night so that you can see the stars so that you can navigate your ship. Presumably would be the, the uh, symbolic meaning of that phrase. So, I feel like I should talk to this guy before I just go barging in there, because he seems pretty relevant. So let's talk to Cartugo. Gods keep you. Come take a look at my wares. Exotic goods shipped straight from the Republics and Old Valia. Show me what you have for sale. Oh, he has some cool stuff. Wow, he has the stuff. So he has all these magic items. He has all kinds of cool potions, scrolls. He has, whoa, he has pets? Beagle dog? And, pet, and he has all kinds of goodies to use to um, enchant or create. Wow. Wow. I like this guy. What do I have to do to get a discount at this store? Calico Cat. This cat's furry coat is a patchwork of black, orange, and white. And it seems very content to shed it all over your belongings. Beagle Dog. This small hunting hound has an impressively loud baying cry. It makes a game travel companion trotting along at your heels. It's a Beagle Dog. Vithrak Brains. It's a hell. The large gelatinous brain of a Vithrak. I don't really know what a Vithrak is exactly. Though the Vithrak are known to possess impressive powers of the mind, there is no obvious source for said power on the brain's wrinkled surface. Scrolls. What's the difference between a scroll of defense and a scroll of protection? This is plus 20 all defenses for 15 seconds in a radius. This is half duration for hostile effects. Ah, okay, cool, cool. Scroll of Revival. AoE Revive with 150 Endurance for one second? Wow, now that's a good scroll. You can get your allies back up off the mat. Requires six lore. Though no scroll can reach beyond the shroud and return to one's fallen comrades to life, this spell can prevent their passing, for it restores to the in incapacitated the vigor required to set them back on their feet. That's pretty amazing. And a whole bunch of other scrolls, some of which are quite expensive and require quite a lot of lore. Alright, then you got your basic potions, including some better ones, some like major healing potions. You got your basic dragon eggs, dragon meat. You have a wild strike belt here. Oh, look at all these items. This place is cool. I, I shouldn't even look at this place right now because I don't want I don't have a lot of money and it's all getting kind of sunk into my um, stronghold right now, and I don't want to be tempted to buy <gasps> Soul Whip bonus. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Brishalguin Mind Marker. It's a cipher item. Soul Whip bonus times 1.1 focus gain. That's pretty hot. That is difficult to pass up. Let me just check something really fast. What am I currently using on my neck? Uh, the Torque of Falcon's Eyes, so I could really live without that. I mean, let's keep it real here. Mm. Good day, stranger. Oh, so much cool stuff. Resolve. Increased constant recovery. Oh, for the fighter. His, his, oh, wow, that's cool. His regeneration in battle would, would be better. That's a really nice thing to have. Okay, that's for Druid, Wild Strike, which I don't really care about because I'm not planning to really use Wild Strike. Uh, nice belt. 
I am going to come back and I'm going to read all these for real, but uh, for right now I'm... Ooh, gives you second chance, just like uh, Adair's default armor. Plus might, resolve, and con... That's a, that's a legit tanking ring right there. And some gloves to give you some... Alright, I'm going to come back and read all these, but not yet. Not yet. Look at all the ingredients. And if this guy works like the other merchants, where they regenerate all of their stock every time you leave and come back, that means this could effectively be an unlimited source of some of these ingredients. So if you wanted to make a ton of certain type of scrolls or potions, you could probably... Um, I mean, I was hoping there would be merchants here in the city, this whole big city, that would sell all the supplies you needed to make the potions and scrolls in greater numbers. And it appears there's going to be that, so I'm happy. I'm going to leave him alone for now, though. Or otherwise, I'd be tempted to spend just a second. Sorry about that. I had to sneeze, and then after that, I had to blow my nose a couple of times. It was, I had some, I had some like a nasal emergency, but basically it's okay now. <laughs> so, um, okay. This is the Valium Trading Company. I'm assuming she went in there. It didn't really specify where she went, but she was talking about. You know, blah, blah, blah. She looks back at the warehouse and Grimm says, after a slight nod in the direction, she storms off. So, did she go in there? We don't know. But we're going to get to the bottom of this because... Did I get some sort of new quest or something? I don't think I did. Okay, nothing new in my biography either, so... Alright. Let's go in here. And... Just in case, I'm gonna save my game. Hey. Valian Trading Company. Seems like an appropriate place for me. Maybe I'll get some special dialogue options in here because I'm from Valia. So there is a very flamboyantly dressed, fine Valian woman. All right then. Welcome to the Valian Trading Company. It's gonna be hard for me to do voices for the Valians that don't sound just like my voice I try to do for my own character, and all of which sound stupid. So. This will be some voice acting fail, fail stravaganza. Okay. <clears throat> uh, one second. Okay, <clears throat> sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Let us talk to Liana. God keep you. A young woman stands behind the counter, watching you with quick, intelligent eyes. Welcome. This is your first visit to Valian Trading Company, is it not? Please let me know how I can assist you. Her tone is both professional and inquisitive. What is this place? The Valian Trading Company is an association of merchants from the Valian Republics. We oversee trade deals and negotiations on behalf of our merchants. She gestures toward the door on her right. This is our warehouse, where we store goods in transit. 
You have more divisions to discuss? Who are you? I'm the assistant manager of this warehouse. Currently, I help Verzano run things, but I'll take over when he retires, or when the company bosses back home decide it's time for new management. She rolls her eyes. Farewell. Huh, okay. Well, that was less information than I was hoping for. Esteemed Mestre Verzano, well, your ambitions would dignify any son of the Republic. Your methods do not. The Dukes have asked once that you see to the business interests of all the Republics. They are not given to asking twice. Vicente Agosti. Uh, hmm. So... The people back home are apparently not happy with the way Verzano's doing things. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We could be missing out on hidden stuff right now. There could be hidden stuff anywhere. You cannot hide from me stuff. You cannot hide from me. Bundled navigational charts and nautical maps. Yes, okay, so we know the Valens. Oh, see? stuff to steal. So we are not detected so I should be able to just take this with impunity. Well, that's a lot of money. Deerwood Part 5, haven't I read this one? Uh, yeah, I have read this one. We got some paintings on the walls. Looks like a coastal area. I don't know what that is. Looks like part of a map. A shipping manifest listing the cargo of the Principia Principa Mixiamena. 400 shark skins from Rawatai. 20 bales <clears throat> 20 bales of black wood from the Living Lands and 6 dozen barrels of Adira Ale. Hmm. So, Nautical Seafaring Trading Merchant Company. Basically, I think, I think, think very much of, like, Renaissance Venice. That guy said, what? He said, Apratas, keep those crates moving! <laughs> That's probably not what he sounds like at all. But I don't care. <laughs> don't mind us just sneaking around in your warehouse. Poorly, you can all see us. <laughs> like, what are these fucking idiots doing? Um, hold on, there's a thing to look at right there. For immediate transport to Barda, handle with care. It's no accident that the founders of the Valian Trading Company built this warehouse so close to the salty mast. Ah, gotta be close to the drinks. For Valians, working abroad is all about returning to the Republics with success and prestige. A lot of unregulated business goes on in Onger's gift. That's how we Valians tend to like things anyhow. Mestre Verzano gives the orders around here. My job is just to guard the crates. I don't ask what's in them. Uh, let's see if they say anything else. For Valians working abroad is all about returning to the... Oh, he already read that. Okay, so we've read the things that they have to say. I'm just gonna sneak around here. Probably the same. Yeah. Warehouse hand. It's up where- hey, don't run off. I'm putting my time now so I can return home wealthy and successful. I don't know why he sounds like that. Hmm. Oh yeah, the jingle jangle of grieving mother. Dear wardens are hardy, but they can't march our ambition. Is that right? Warehouse hand grunts as you approach and resumes working. So where does this go? Apparently it goes somewhere though. It's a map. It goes off the map. Oh ho! I can pick a lock. Now we're talking. Caution, flammable. All right. Well, let's just do this lock picking out of the sight of all of the uh, people. Ripple sponge. Oh, I found ripple sponge before. Okay. I'm surprised that was locked up. I don't think it's all that valuable, is it? I know I should talk to Mester Rosano, but I'm just putting that off for a second. There's a Valian soldier. And here's a warehouse hand. And the labor writes, wipes the sweat from her brow and continues with her tasks. Okay, 
Well, do your thing then. Oh, she can't get past me. She's like, uh, excuse me. Grow work isn't glamorous, but I'm working my way up the food, Jane. Could you please get out of my way now? The Valiant Trading Company's making inroads in Defiance Bay. Alright, I'll get out of her way now. There's stuff in here. Nothing hidden, huh? Hmm. Ooh, I can pick all these locks. Live specimens do not open. What is my lock picking? It's still five, right? Hey, okay, it's five, yeah. Um... I don't know if we're, if we're detected or how this works. Like, if we're gonna get in trouble. Eh? I think I can just do it now. On your word. Get out of here. Eh? And a quick save, just in case. I don't want to start some shit. A wand and a garnet. Okay. And what do we have here? A fine brigandine and a flail. I'll take those things. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the, your donations, Valian Trading Company, to my mission. Also, some XP. Okay. Now we'll save and we will actually legit talk to this guy who I think is like the main plot point in this area here, obviously. He might have a mission for us or something. Look at him. He looks pretty cool. He's got his pimp suit on. He's got like, is his hair kind of green or is that my imagination? Huh. A man stands in the corner of the warehouse. He's not really in the corner so much, but all right. Directing traffic. Gems wink from the many rings on his fingers as he points and waves at the laborers. His silk clothes, though finely embroidered, aren't new. You notice a couple mended seams around the shoulders and a discreet patch on one elbow. So he's been he's fallen on hard times. He doesn't have as much money as he used to. Welcome. He's a pretty normal sounding voice. When he sees you, he throws his arms wide in an expansive welcome. Greetings! You've come to the warehouse and headquarters of the Valian Trading Company! He consults a pocket watch. Some of the gold filigree has chipped away. But you are late! I sent word to the expedition hall yesterday! This delivery cannot wait! He snaps the watch shut. Hmm. What's the delivery? He tugged at his beard. I must assume, then, that you are not from the company I contacted at the Expedition Hall. He waves a hand, but you are here, and they are not. It is a bag of bitter squash seeds which are prized for their medicinal properties. Few merchants in Defiance Bay deal in them, but those who do know their value. I think he's lying. I'm already calling it. He's lying. It is not a bag of bitter squash seeds. Or if it is, it has something else hidden within it. There's something shady going on here. My something shady sense is going off medicinal properties, right. This has something to do with drugs, or some other illegal trade, or some kind of weapon system, or something to do with slavery, or something to do with evil, like, soul magic, or something to do with something bad. Mark my words. Seems simple enough. Why ask me? A frown distorts his meticulous goatee. My own couriers have been robbed and beaten these past weeks. It would seem that some of my competitors resent my success. In any case, you are not a known associate. You would be left alone, and if not, he shrugs and grins, you look like you could handle yourself. As for your integrity, I suppose I will just have to trust you, as you will have to trust my assurances that you won't find a buyer outside of my contact. Not right now. He tucks the watch back into his pocket. Come back when you change your mind. I am never short on opportunities. Something else I can help you with? Or shall I return to my business? See, I wanted to ask him about this other stuff before I accept, because I, you know, might change, his mind, change my mind. Tell me about what you do here. I am a merchant from Ansense, the fairest of the Valian Republics. Here in Defiance Bay, I run the Valian Trading Company. He gestures at the stacked crates. We ship cargo to and from the republics. We are part of the grandest mercantile organization in the world. Anything you can imagine, we can ship it. He grins. For a fee. I'd like to know more about the Valian Trading Company. We are a confederation of merchants and traders from the republics. He looks proudly around the warehouse. We sell all manner of goods and equipment, and for years we've enjoyed fruitful contracts with many shops, inns, and armors, armorers throughout Defiance Bay. His smile flickers. 
Is something wrong? It is nothing. He waves a hand. Only that my competition has grown especially fierce in recent months. But I suppose this is to be expected, given the legacy, as the locals call it. He's talking about Wyvern's legacy. The whole Hollowborn kids thing. Okay, that's all I we could ask him. Okay, let's ask him about about the feathered woman now. Who was that feathered woman? Ah, you must mean Pelagina. She is a paladin in the employ of the Valian Embassy. He chuckles. <laughs> She's a good soldier, but not so good at taking orders. Too out of temper, I'm afraid. She seemed angry. He laughs again. <laughs> that is no surprise. She's hot-headed. A woman in a brotherhood of paladins, and touched by the gods in such an unusual way. Mm, farewell. So, we just got a quest, even though I said no. At all costs. Mestre Verzano, the head of the Valian Trading Company in Defiance Bay, wants me to deliver a package. Get bitter swash seeds from Verzano at the warehouse in Andra's gift. I told Rosano that I wasn't interested in his delivery job. He told me to return to him if I changed my mind. Well, I've changed my mind. So, let's, let's do this. Yeah, this sounds perfectly harmless. We're just delivering some seeds with medicinal properties. What could go wrong? Good day to you. Ah, I see you were back. No doubt you have come for the delivery job. Work in Defiance Bay is hard to come by these days, yes? I don't really need work so, so much, but okay. Um, alright. I'll do it. He claps his hands together. Excellent! Now deliver this package to a man named Gareth at the Goose and Fox in Copper Lane. He will know what to do with it. He slips a bag of pebbly seeds into your hand. Return to me when you are done, and I shall see to your payment. Hmm. Something about this is so shady. Good day to you. Verzano checks his battered pocket watch. Better deliver that package, no? Business such as this is concluded quickly. Yeah, you mean shady ass business where I'm being lied to about what I'm doing? That kind of business? Yeah, of course it is. Um, alright. Mr. Vizano has given me a package to deliver to Gareth at the Goose and Fox in Copper Lane. Hail and well met. But I can't find out any more about Palagina in here right now, apparently, which is unfortunate, as that's the only reason I came in here. Alright, Liana, hook me up with the deets. Uh, or not, you know. But where'd you go? Where did you go, Palagina? I'm here for you. Where did you go? Um... Before I knew it, the Stelgar was on top of me, and I was face down in the dirt! Arrow to the throat. That stops him. <laughs> what? No! I was spirit shifted, and she was in heat, so I aimed for the throat, but not with an arrow. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. We, we do not want to hear your accounts of Stelgar on Stelgar action, sir. Okay, pouring some water out of my pitcher of ice water here. Because I'm actually well prepared to stream this time. Instead of when I sit here and I try to talk for hours at a time with no water, in which case bad things happen to my throat. Alright, so... I want to know where she went. I want to know where she went because the whole reason I came here was to get her. What do I have to do to get her? What do I have to do? Do I maybe I have to do this mission? Maybe I have to Let's just proceed as though we need to do this mission. It obviously has something to do with her, so let's deliver the package. Wait, do I have this package in my actual literal stash? Bitter squash seeds. This bag is filled with dozens of small black oblong seeds. Verzano told me that they have certain medicinal properties. Uh-huh. Of course they do. Did anyone make it out alive? Someone was seen jumping over the side right before the ship broke apart, but that's it. No other survivors. Ugh, what a waste. I don't know what they're talking about, but, uh... 
Apparently a ship was sunk by something. These bridges are cool. More sailors. Another statue. Okay. Well, yeah, I will head back to... I mean, I could just run around looking for her to see if she just happens to be standing around somewhere else, but it seems unlikely. I mean, she stormed off in a sort of... Oh, oh shit, I just ran into a situation. No. Grab his purse and go. Some thugs just mugged somebody. This aggression will not stand. Oh, it's a noble, who cares? <laughs> it just said that, like, wow. Alright, noble. Can I even... This man's fancy clothes are ripped, and blood flows from a fresh cut above his eye. He tries to push himself up, but his arm is shaking. He winces painfully. Leave. <laughs> I'll be nice. Help him up. Th thank you! He gasps as he rises. My head! What happened? I can't believe they just attacked you in the middle of the street. Neither can I! He slowly stretches out one leg, grimacing at the scraped knee. It's a rough part of town, but the rebel's never been violent. Even a night with the collie isn't worth this. He limps away. Ah, he was here to visit his preferred uh, lady of the night. His preferred courtesan. Professional sex worker. I mean, that's what I'm guessing what he means. Maybe it's, she's just his mistress. Maybe she's not actually a... Um, and he got jumped. But I'll bet I can follow after where those... There's still some blood there. D did you see that? I think so, something just happened with my key. Oh, I'm done building my artificer's hall. Oh, I can artifice some stuff. <laughs> totally a word. I can artifice all the things. Okay. Hey, did I gain some money? Oh, yeah, I stole some money out of the... Well, what am I going to build next at the old stronghold? Let's see. Maybe something cheap, huh? A bailey. I need that to build a bunch of other stuff. Um, not stuff like this that costs 2500 That's cray cray. Library's nice. Uh, craft hall... Curio shops very expensive. Chapels very expensive. Those all. Rec so, the stream just disconnected. I don't know if anybody's watching or can hear me, but I don't know if it's coming back up either. On my OBS little window, it looks like it's come back up and it's it's doing its thing. But looking at my actual stream page on Twitch, I don't see anything happening. It just looks like a black screen. Mmm. Well, that's annoying when that happens. Maybe I need to refresh this page and see. So let me just do that real quick. Wait, I just saw the live thing come up in the corner. I better refresh my page. Hold on. I hate when this kind of thing happens. It screws everything up. Because it stopped my recording too, so then I had to restart the recording and there might be a little bit missing or something. Okay, it looks like I might actually be up. I'm going to do this with my mouse right here and see. Because there's a delay, so I have to wait you know, a few seconds, however long it is, before I can see if it actually... Okay, well, I'm just going to assume that it's working, I guess. Anything? Anything? Okay, okay, okay. all right, good. We're, we're good. We're good. So, the stream crashed. Hopefully that won't happen again. We don't want that to be like an every few minutes thing like it was that one time. Okay. 
I was looking at options here for what I want to upgrade. I'm thinking... I wonder what happens if I restore the lab. That's only 600. The library. The Bailey. Um, better get the Bailey going, huh? It houses various necessities for keeping the stronghold self-sufficient. Building this upgrade will allow you to upgrade the grounds further. I could get the pa the towers, which will give me a little defense, defense and. Um, Let's do the Bailey. Okay. Bailey it is. Moving on with our lives. So I was just kind of looking around here for Halogena and I, I stumbled upon a situation. Oh, look at these cool rugs hanging here. And some thugs mugged this noble, and then they ran off this direction. Now, I'm not actually really going to go hunting for them. What is that, though? Do you see that? There's like a soul glowy thing down there. And apparently I can talk to it. But I'm not going to right now, because... That's really not the mission I'm on at the moment. I will come back to fully explore these zones. But this is not when I'm doing that. Right now I'm just trying to find Palagina and uh... A call for interested patrons. A call for interested patrons. The ad mats at the end expedition hall. Pledges competent proven men and something else. And women towards the profitable venture of your choosing. Interested parties are asked to seek out when on within the expedition hall. That's what like the crier sounds like in my head. Um, okay, let's head back to Copper Lane. Let's deliver these seeds and hope that nothing terrible happens. Which you probably will. I'm glad at least that OBS makes a sound. It goes bing. Pretty loud when when you um Sagani, does your fox bite? Yes. Can I pet him anyway? It's your hand. I'm gonna pet him. <laughs> a dare. Nice. It's a little a little bit weird there, but also kind of adorable. Alright, the goose and fox is my destination. And that is where I shall go. Yeah, kid, I know you want to talk to me. We will get to you. We will get to you. I don't suppose that one of these happens to say Palagina right now, does it? Of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. So we're going to deliver this thing. Even if it's a bad idea. We're going to do it anyway. Goose and Fox. Let's just save it up. In we go. See what kind of resting bonuses I can get here too. Okay. There's... what the hell? Erishi Tungsten. That looks like some Dragon Ball Z action right there. What the hell? Patron, actress. It's always an actress in there. There's Gareth right there. Bishop. It's like Bishop from, uh. Welcome to the Goose and Fox. 
I started thinking of Bishop from um, Neverwinter Nights 2. Doesn't really look too much like him, huh? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> that miserable bastard. She's not happy. She's mad at somebody. This mercenary here is having way too much fun for a party of his own. Hey, buddy. That is one gigantic ass. He's drinking out of the Stanley Cup, apparently. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. We'll deliver him the thing, and we will hope there's no terrible consequences for that. But it seems benign enough, I guess. Yeah. That's my character. With her little monk looking robe. Hey, got it. Okay. Hey. How's Adair's stats? Looking like they're still normal. Good, good, good. Okay, Gareth. A man skulks near the bar. <laughs> that immediately gives us a good impression of him. He seems like he's trying to blend in with the wood paneling, and he watches the other patrons out of the corner of his eye. He gives you a quick nod as you approach. So you know how I said I think this whole thing is shady? Yeah, now shadiness uh, quotient has just gone through the roof. The man is skulking. He's literally skulking. You know how I know? Because it says so right there. What do you do here? Me? I'm just minding my own business. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, of c <laughs> wait, <laughs> hold on a second. Of course, you're standing by yourself in the corner of a tavern, and you're not drinking anything. Not suspicious at all. Gareth's nervous eyes dart around the room. Keep it down, will you? I really am here to do business, but it's the kind of thing that requires discretion. And unless a mutual friend has sent you to me, that's all I have to say on the subject. Actually, a mutual friend, so to speak, has sent me to you. I'm starting to regret this, though. This guy's obviously up to no good. Oh well, XP is XP, am I right? Good day to you. He peels his gaze away from the bar. Yeah? Rezano has a delivery for you. He glances around and snatches the pouch from you. Keep your voice down, will you? The Dominels have spies everywhere. Oh, they're against Dominels. Well, now all of a sudden I like them more. He tucks the pouch away. You tell Verzano this is the last time I'm buying from him. This is getting too dangerous for me. Tell me what was in that pouch. Bitter squash seeds. They interrupt pregnancies. Even though they're not exactly legal, many folk nowadays prefer them to the risk of autoborn. Or celibacy. He pulls a wry frown. Oh, so it's the morning after pill. Basically, what we have, I just delivered him a bunch of abortion seeds. Well then, that's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um... Did that just do something illegal? Um, no. He grins weakly. So, yes. I don't think I've heard of the Dominels. Actually, I read a book about them, but let's. I'm playing it cool. The more important thing is making sure they don't hear of you. They're old Brackenberry stock, but these days the Dominels are known for their business activities, most of which involve some degree of bribery, extortion, Theft or murder. What do the Dominals have to do with this? You have no idea, do you? Let's just say that the Dominals have, uh, exclusive rights to trade certain merchandise within the city. Verzano likes to make some extra coin from time to time by dealing in the same merchandise, undercutting the competition, he says. Are we done? Y yeah, we're done. Now get out of here before. Uh oh. The plot just thickened. 
Uh-oh, here we go. This is not going to be good. Dana comes in. She's wearing a jaunty hat. That's never a good sign. A woman swaggers in. She's got that swag. Her polished boots thwacking the floor with slow, deliberate steps. A crooked sneer warps her smooth face. Gareth, I'm hurt. You promised to buy only from me. What's a girl to think? Gareth bows, his knees knocking together. Please, my lady, I was just explaining that I don't do business with anyone else. Except this one last time, right? Dana crosses her arms and rocks back on her heels. There's always one more deal. Until you run out of credit, that is. Dana turns and regards you, looking you up and down. <clears throat> and just who are you? You don't exactly look like a seed dealer. Um, I don't want to be trifled with. Stay silent. <sighs> Just someone making a delivery. Lazano put you up to this, didn't he? That old fool's on a sinking ship and he's determined to drag anyone who gets close enough down with him. She eyes the trembling Gareth. Gareth here knew better, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. In fact, I'll also give you a chance to get even with the imbecile who's been playing us both. She narrows her eyes. What do you say to killing Verzano? Um, hmm. Well then, let's think about this. I won't do it. Why would I want to do that? Tell me about the Dominos. Let me get some backstory here, lady. I know you're in the middle of trying to, like... <laughs> um, I'll do it. I can lie and say I'll do it, or I can say I'll do it for real. I'll decide his fate when I talk to him again. What if I kill you instead? Tell me about the Dominos. Because, you know, I gotta I got get some lore before I do this shit. I don't know whether to be relieved or insulted. We're one of the wealthiest merchant families in Defiance Bay. Let's just say, however, that some of our business practices are not officially sanctioned. Gareth groans and stifles a sob, so he is very intimidated by her. Why would I want to do that? Why wouldn't you? He's used you to do his dirty work, and without telling you anything about what you're carrying, or who you were crossing. She taps a finger to her jaw, and her voice slows. Of course, I'd also consider it a personal favor, and House Dominel is never stingy with its friends. She glances at Gareth, the loyal ones anyway. Um... I'm going with five. I'll decide his fate when I talk to him again. You'd better make up your mind quickly, because we're going to pay him his dues one way or another. Just make sure you stay out of our way. Well, we might have to bang, uh, and not in the friendly way. At all costs. So... Return to Verzano and Andre's gift. Verzano's gotten himself in trouble with the local crime cartel. Unfortunately, he's dragged me with him. He's waiting for me at the Valian Trading Company in Andre's gift. When I confront him, I'll have to decide how I want to handle his treachery. Well, okay. I've gotten myself pulled into all kinds of nonsense here, just trying to find this of course. this woman, Palagina, whom my dreams and visions have told me is meant to journey with me, but... What's this all about? What do we got here? Errol of Levi looks on enigmatically from the canvas. Uh, I don't know who that is. I can't really tell what that... What that's all about. But, okay. Sure. That's a lot of bottles. I'm not gonna try to steal that right now. I got some XP just for kinda showing up, so that's cool. But... I feel like... I really need to... I, I want to find her. I don't know where she is. I don't know where she is. I'm just going to continue this quest line. Assuming that it's going to lead me to her somehow. 
Okay. So, let's head back to Rosano and decide what we're going to do. I mean, I doubt that I'm going to kill him. I don't feel that there's much to warrant that, but... Plus, I don't care about pissing off the Dominals. Screw the Dominals. to see if this is going to reconnect or what. Come on. Well, it looks like it's reconnecting, but I'm a little bit annoyed that my internet slash OBS slash Twitch something is breaking down here and, it, and it's shutting, it's, it's kicking me off. It's happened twice now. Good chance it'll keep happening. Um... I feel like I should. I feel like I should do something about it. Hopefully, do something about it. I should probably stop the stream and uh, like try to power cycle my modem and do all that business again. Stuff has been. This has been going on more regularly, often, more often, re more regularly, often. It's been going on more often lately more regularly lately or something anyway it's pretty annoying so I think what I'm gonna do is no 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 I'm gonna go here I'm gonna quick save and then I'm going to um, See if I can fix my internet or something and come back and resume the stream and the recording. So, yeah, I'll be back. Hopefully, pretty quick. This has been Josiah Plays Pillars of Eternity. This is Josiah Plays Pillars of Eternity. Alright. I've reset my stuff. Hopefully my internet will not act up now. Hopefully everything will work with my stream, with my recording. And I won't get too connected and everything will be beautiful and wonderful. And the world will be full of joyous outcomes for all people involved. Hopefully. Um... <clears throat> So, just curious now. Let's just bring that down a touch. If I come over here, and I'm like, hey, uh, I should like to go to the world map. I wonder. So I can now fast travel to these areas because I've been to them. Wait, have I been to First Fires, really? I think I went straight through Brackenberry to Andre's Gift. But, okay. Into wood and plains and storm world and Deerford Village. And I unlocked, I guess, I unlocked Deerford Crossing, even though I haven't actually been there. Okay, let's go back to Andra's Gift, shall we? I think we shall. It will apparently take me 24 minutes. 24 minutes. Not really a very big city if you can walk across it in 24 minutes. Now things are all misty, or foggy, or whatever. I wonder if they're always like that here. Or if it's just a special time. So we gotta go back and see what he has to say here at the old Valium Trading Company. Wait a minute, it's just one thing one thing at a time here. What is this? There's some cheese that needed to be liberated there. Surrounded by scattered planks, it isn't clear whether this skiff has been half-built and abandoned or cannibalized for lumber. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's missing some wood, isn't it? 
Okay. We got any soldiers. Isn't that great? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, should we go back in there? Hey, there's a model. I already looked at this, didn't we? Yeah, ropes swaying in the ocean breeze. Okay, let's go back inside the trailing company and uh, <clears throat> see what there is to see. Is it because it's hour 24 that, um, midnight, so the receptionist or whatever, well, she was the assistant manager, didn't she say? She's not here. Isn't that interesting. The place is kind of empty. They shall see nothing while I see much. They shall see nothing while I see much. Did Grieving Mother just say that? Okay, Rosano. I notice he's got quite a few soldiers here. You know, just in case I decide to act up. I wonder where this goes. Probably goes back outside, doesn't it? I don't know why, I just... It's odd that there's two different doors going into the same... ...place. Hmm. Yeah, that is a, a little bit strange. Okay, well, I'm going to talk to him. I doubt that I'm going to end up getting a fight with this guy because I think I'm probably going to take his side. But we shall see. Does he have soldiers back here? He does. All right, well, just in case. Just in case. Hey, of course. Well, we'll go to here. We'll do this. We'll do it like this. Good day, stranger. Were you able to deliver the package? That's my gooby voice for Rosano. Yes, but now that you better explain why you sent me into a trap. You told me. I trust you for the way you manipulated me. You didn't tell me things would get messy. I charge extra for that. <laughs> the Dominels were there. Rosano's eyes fly open and he tugs at his beard. I was so careful! Always following the Vera Vita! They couldn't have known. Uh oh, what's going on now? Is that is that is that is that Yes it is, alright. I have done the right thing. Well well, is this your last day among the living, Rosano? Rosano wrings his hands. Your timing is impeccable, Tella Balagina. Balagina. The Dominels are after me. Please, you, you've got to stop them. Balagina snorts. As if any of this were ever in my hands. The Republic's considered your business worth protecting based on its success. That success depending on, depended on cooperation with the locals, like House Dominel. You've lost that. Her golden eyes narrow. And the favor of the Dukes. Duke, 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 Duke of Earl. Duke, Duke, Duke. Okay, that's enough of that. Do not interrupt. What's the meaning of this? Stay out of this. What's the meaning of this? The meaning's simple. Verzano's cut off. Shut out. His fate is left to the Dominels and whatever unlucky friends he may still have in Defiance Bay. Verzano falls to his knees and clasps his hands together. Have mercy, Pelagina! I don't stand a chance against the Dominels! He bites a trembling lip. I've brought failure and shame on myself, but you can't mean to watch your countrymen die like a dog! Hey, Flying Trout, how you doing? You swear I never sleep? I totally sleep. I sleep all the time. It's been over 24 hours since I streamed at, at this point. So, I mean, how is this game not over yet? It, oh, man. You don't understand. I don't even have... No, not... I have like 65 hours into it is all. And, um... 
I'm not even halfway, though. Valagina stares at Verzano for a long moment. The nictitating membranes of her eyes slide out and back before she continues. Verzano, Verzano, why are you wasting your precious breath on me? My orders come through the ambassador, and through the ambassador from people you should be honored ever gave a moment's thought as to whether you live or die. You don't seem like the sort to petition the gods to keep him out of hell, so why not cry mercy to the one person in this room with the power to grant it? She is mad at this guy. She turns her attention to you and raises her feathered eyebrows expectantly. Hmm. How you doing? Flying trap. I intend to protect Rizzano from the Dominels. Palagino drops her gaze and lightly shakes her head from side to side. Moments later, she turns her eyes to the ceiling in amused disbelief. Ha ha ha! Oh, Verzano, you have a saint looking after you for looking out for you after all. She strides across the room. She strides. She doesn't just walk across the room. She strides and takes the already nervous Verzano's head in her feathered hands, a gesture that seems to hover in a dangerously narrow space between caressing and crushing. Just don't come knocking on the embassy door, understand? Verzano replies with a rapid, weak series of nods. Palagina nods back once and gives his face a light slap. I wonder if, like, they're related or something. Or what their deal is, because there's obviously a relationship here already, but it seems to be kind of a love-hate thing. Lang Trout says, fantastic, been up since 10.30 doing homework and studying for an exam today. What kind of exam? Do as you will. He's no longer my concern. She turns her feathered head in your direction. Do as you will. He's no longer my concern. Hmm, it's going to be hard to do her voice and make it sound different from my other voice. And she just disappears again. It's not easy to get this lady in my party. Oh, and this lady comes in now. Dana saunters through the door. It's about to be a fight, isn't it? I think it's about to be a fight. Accounting, huh? Well, that sounds exciting. An accounting exam. Sounds tough. I would do very poorly at that. Math is not my strongest suit. But working hard, eh? She's flanked by a squad of Dominel foot soldiers. She lets her gloved hand rest on the hilt of her weapon. A sneer curdles on her face as she looks at you. It seems I was wrong to overlook your blunder. Rest assured, I will never make this. I never make the same mistake twice. Okay, here we go. They're starting some shit. What did my What did my quest say now? I've decided to protect Verzano from Dana Dominell. Now she and her thugs have it in for me, too. Alright, what we got? We've got Dana. She's got us jaunty hats, so... Looks like she's a rogue, and she's using Blinding Strike. I recognize that icon. At least all these soldiers are on my side. That's kind of good. And she has a Dominell Bruiser with her. That's it? That's all the enemies? No, there's got to be some more over here somewhere that I can't see. Intermediate accounting, cost, GAAP laws, inventory accountability, financial and managerial reporting. I do poorly at it too. Wow, that sounds... Whew. It makes my brain hurt just thinking about all that. <laughs> but, you know, I suppose you'll be able to get a real good job after you finish that degree, huh? Hey. Okay. Let's, let's do this. Let's, we're, we're not taking any nonsense from you. I'm gonna pull, do my pull move on her first, and see how that works. Meanwhile, rest of my team, come on out here. Dog. Following your lead. You. Ready. Well, actually, let's just, just get out here, people. That was interesting.
Oh, she's kicking his ass already, so I left to legitimately okay. protect her. Alright, get in there and knock her down. That's the hope. How much more school do you have left, Flying Trout? Before you are... Before you are finished. Ready. Hmm. Thoughts must flow deeply indeed. Huh. Yeah. Did the knockdown okay. miss? I think it did. Seriously though, knock her down, okay? Ah, I see there's some more some more guys. Oh, there's a wizard. Well that's not cool. Yes. if I can dominate one of these guys. Need something? Point the way. Do a wounding shot there. Huh? Oh, that one's dominated. Let's just make sure. Grieving Mother dominates. Good job. Having done that. strike. Yeah. I'm still casting my puppet master. The dog is getting Better jacked up. It. Where's the mage? Is the mage dead already? Oh, good job. Valian soldiers. That guy's a cleric. He's casting a pillar of faith. Get in there, Druid. On your word. Kana, switch to the pike and get in there. Ow, I just got pillared. Wow, I just got dropped. Like a bad habit. Crits me for 61 crush damage. <laughs> that guy just one-shotted me as I was attempting to, uh... Okay, well that didn't go so well. It too max about to die. Where's the druid at? Need something? Can you get over here, please? All right, so Dana's down. That's awesome. Point the way. Shoot him. Dog, attack him. Hey. Wolf, you do that to him. Following your lead. All right. Let's um get over here and 
thunder wave some people. Yeah. Druid, if you could come maybe do something useful, that would be super rad. Ooh, look. Yes. Lost him with the waves there. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Is it to Mac down? Yeah. So now the now the ranger has Bonded Grief, minus 20 accuracy, minus 4 might, minus 20 will, because her pet is dead. So that's kind of shitty. Hey. It'd be kind of cool if you got in there and did something hey, useful if I were so Is that the priest one? I can't really tell. I think he is though, right? Need something? Hey. Following your lead. I'm here. Shoot this one. She reloads really fast. Watch this reload speed on her. Alright. Let's let's go ahead and do something useful here. Mind blades. Go. That was nice. Okay. Well, that didn't go great, but it could have been worse. Quest completed at all costs. <sighs> Mestre Verzano. He wipes the sheen from his forehead and looks around the warehouse with the wide, fearful eyes of a hunted animal. I cannot thank you enough, Famica. But this won't stop the Dominels for long. I've got to get out of here, and I recommend that you do too. He gives you a bag of coin with shaking hands. That's all I have after this ill-fated venture. Thank you again. And please, look out for yourself. And he runs off. Is that what we're doing here? He's running right. off. And all the other soldiers are just like, eh, return to just standing around now. Like nothing happened. Okay. So, first of all, there's some loot. Oh. Fine dagger, fine rapier, dagger, stiletto sword, medium shield, fine male brigandine, leather, another duelist hat, some hoods, and some money. I will take all of that. It's also an embossed grimoire. Let's take a look at that. Crossbow, scepter, mail, robe, hood, hood, hood. Okay. What about this? Um. Ooh, a pistol with a name. Now we're talking. And then there's a grimoire here, which Aloth could perhaps learn a spell or two from, but we don't have him in our group right now, so. Let's look at this. Forgiveness. It's very slow. Should he interrupt? Has, I think, pretty much normal pistol damage. Extra attack speed. Uh, so damaging one is basically like fine, but not as good, because it doesn't have the accuracy. If I enchanted it up to fine, it would replace that. And regular DR by... So this really isn't a very good pistol, actually. Keel was a constable in the small deer wooden village of Maiden Falls, a good man who fulfilled his duties honorably. He often found himself in violent confrontations with passing ruffians and mercenaries come to the village to exploit the nearby ruins. Wiry, with a boyish face and an awkward gait, offenders rarely took Kiel seriously. They would mock him, telling him there was no way he was going to take them to jail. You're right, Kyo would reply. I bring forgiveness. And then I guess he would shoot them with this gun. <laughs> it's, 
It's all right. I mean, if you threw a, a good enchant like this on there, it would replace the damage thing. Essentially, it's like a normal gun, but then it has that speed thing. That's its special property that it, it would get in addition to whatever other enchants you put on there, which is not bad, but mm, I don't really... Like, she's not going to use it. And... I guess she might use it. He's gonna switch back to the gun and reload it. Yeah. He's using a bow. We'll She's got her bow. I guess both of her crossbows are already loaded. Yeah. Okay, so... Now, compared to the Arquebus, though... Hmm, actually... It does... Equivalent damage almost. Two less max, one more minimum. So basically equivalent. It'll be considerably faster with that attack speed plus being a pistol versus an Arquivist. So that's actually not bad. Um, maybe he should use that instead of the Arquivist. Come back down here real quick. Looks kind of cool with a pistol. I guess he could have both and just put this bow away. Like he could have his pike, this pistol. Where is he? On your word. Does it need to be loaded? Hmm. Okay. Right away. So, there you have it. I uh, gained a thousand copper, gained a bunch of XP. Of course, we're still pretty far away from leveling. The extra money, though, that'll help. And... The quest here is now completed. I protected Verzano from the vengeful Donna Dominel. I'll have to watch my step around the rest of House Dominel. But I still don't know what happened to Palagina. She just left again, and I don't have any idea where she went or when I will find her again. I also really pissed off House Dominel terror. Overwhelmingly bad. So, they really hate me. They hate me, like, more than anyone, basically. Well, because, I guess, if that was Donna Doma, she was actually a member of the family and I just killed her. So they're probably really pissed. Which, I guess I can't blame them. Did these guys say anything new now that we just had this bloody battle right here in, your, in their warehouse? Guess not. Still don't know. Maybe I can't get Palagina now. Maybe I pissed her off by siding with him. Who knows? She might not even be available as a companion anymore. Guess we'll see. Well, all I can do is quick save and move on.
Hey. Does yep. music sound different to you when your ears, or, well, ear, is another shape? Yes, I find it unpleasant. Most everything seems shrill when I'm a Stalegar. Maybe your keen senses just haven't heard truly fine music yet. A masterfully crafted annoyance is still an annoyance. <laughs> ah, Haravius. What a character. Alright, so she's standing right there. Looking pretty cool. Maybe I can get her now. I'm just gonna save the game. Ah. It's done then. Palagina looks up with a satisfied expression. Vetsano plays with fire and someone else always pays the price for it. Your charity is more than he deserves. Still, at least I don't have to deal with him anymore. For that I'm grateful. Hmm. Okay. Palagina sighs. Whether you intended to or not, you've done the Valian Republics a service today, ridding us of him. I work closely with the Embassy to protect our interests, but lately I think our gaze has been too narrow. You clearly have pursuits of your own in the city, but I think we could help each other out, if you're interested in doing some work for us. Officially, I mean. We can go together and I'll introduce you to the Ambassador. She glances back toward the warehouse and raises her feathered eyebrows. Uh, working with the Am Valian Ambassador sounds pretty good. That sounds fine. Let's go. Good. Maybe I can finally do something more worthwhile than playing nanny to merchants. The embassy is up in First Fires, southwest of the Ducal Palace. She smiles. Oh, right. I gotta do this. And I can't really dismiss anybody right now because they all have all their stuff on them and they'll lose items and shit because possibly, though they might lose items. So, what I really need to do is hit cancel and then go back to the stronghold and get her. The child of five sons. Palagina feels she has been wasting her time on trivial tasks in Defiance Bay. She believes there are more serious threats to the Valian Republics and wants your help in pursuing them. Speak to Agosti at the Valian Embassy. Palagina wants to speak to Ambassador Agosti at the Valian Embassy in First Fires. Okay. I got some I got some journal here, some biography. Palagina, a paladin from the Valian Republics, was impressed at your handling of an imprudent merchant and presented an opportunity to work together to serve your own interests as well as those of her dukes. Okay, and I uh, presumably she is back at the stronghold now waiting for me, which is a little bit weird considering the story situation, but okay. Bailey's still gonna be working on for a while. So I need to go back there. Oh. I'm getting jumped. You're making quite a name for yourself with the Dominals. Pity that it isn't the kind of impression you should be making. They're jumping me. They're not happy. So we got some thugs here. Okay. Alright. Come on, sons. Hey. Adair, I need you to get in there and wreck some shit. Actually, everybody, stop what you're doing. Hey. Because I'm about to root now. Okay. Get in there and wreck some shit. Following your lead. Kana, shoot somebody. Yeah? They're obvious. Let's just, let's blow some spells. Fuck it. Let's use some spells on these fools. How about a blizzard? Blizzard sounds good. Does this hit allies too? It does hit allies too, so I need to be very careful here. I should wait until the, the battle lines are formed and then cast that. Anything I want to cast before then? 
This is this hits whoever, so I could um, throw that down first. I'm here. We're gonna mark somebody. How about this guy? I'm going to try to... Okay. Now we're in combat. I'm going to try... It's a puppet master. One of these guys. So he fired the gun. How'd that work out for us? He grazed for 17. Alright, now I want him to switch to the pistol. And just keep shooting. Hey. Apparently the knockdown missed or what? Yeah, it did. Okay. Following your lead. Ready. How'd the lightning do? Uh, I did a little damage to them. Alright, now that they're pretty much stacked up there, let's throw some blizzard on them. So I don't want to hit Adair, but I do want to hit all of them, so basically right there is fine. Huh? So now you have a marked prey, shoot him. Dog, you can get in there. Hmm. Um. Actually, if I'm gonna cast that on somebody, it should probably be him. Okay, and then Your she's still working on her charm, right? Did it work? Did it work? It did work. It dominated for 5.5 seconds, which is better than nothing. Let's try to blind some guys. And, um... Yeah. I will try to... Oh, she's still casting a spell. Okay. Alright, so they're in the blizzard now. That's good. Hey. Alright, she just fired. She should switch to her other crossbow. Just keep shooting him. Dog. Oh, she's in the way. There you go, dog, get in there. I'm here. Sagani, keep shooting him. Hey. Tank, keep doing your thing. On your work. Kana almost has enough fun. Um... Oh! New pistol working out good. He just took that dude out with a 32 piece. Alright, nice. After you've done that, Kana, go ahead and switch to your pike. He has three phrases now, so I can blast off with some magic. Which is good. Let's uh thunder like thunder roll like waves on black seas. Meanwhile, the druid. Let's put some pain on him back there. How about a little thing I like to call Burst of Summer Flame. Point the way. Her guy's still alive. Um, you can just keep shooting whoever, really. Eh? And I can just keep shooting. Burst of Summer Flame go off? I didn't really notice fire exploding and killing people. 
I guess it, oh, because it missed almost everybody. Come on, Haravius, you can do better than that. Ready. What else you got? Let's stag's horn somebody. This guy that has a lot of health left. Point the way. A2 mock, get on him. Um Pretty flawlessly. That went pretty good. Yeah. That arbalest reload. <laughs> How come it looks like she's. Man, when she's in the light, her black robe looks white. I and mean, she's clearly not wearing white. I just some really bright light. Okay. Your thoughts must flow deeply indeed. Kana, you need to reload all your shit. Hmm? Okay. And even more reputation loss with Dominal, so I don't know how it could really get worse. If they're sending hit squads right, after then. me. They pretty much hate me as much as you can hate me. I'm on the trail. So, I got I did what I came here to do. I got um Palagina jo to join my party. Hey, there's a courtesan there. I'm pretty sure she wasn't here when I came through in the daytime. Ladies of the night, indeed. So, I'm heading back to Cadnua. And I will go in and I will sort out my party. I will talk to Palagina, go through her dialogues. And we'll decide who I'm going to keep in my party, get everything set up. And then we'll go out for some legit adventuring. Uh, all of which will take place in our next video, our next episode. That is going to do it for this one. Thank you for watching. This has been Josiah Plays Pillars of Eternity.